we are down to uh, information items A to K. Okay, the first item is a... Uh, oh, no, we're going to make the motion first. Now. We'll jump right into it here. I have a motion to accept what we uh, look at in terms of this particular information summary. Councillor Doherty, Councillor Smith, and starting down through the list. So let me get back to that page. quickly and then everything jams out on me with this computer. Anybody else have that problem? No, okay, let's do it. No yeah. Okay, sorry about it. Thank you letter from BC Senior Games. Uh, Selkirk College Kids Science ca uh, Camp asking for financial support of $300. This is actually matching support that was given from the regional level, is that that correct? Oh, we're back up in action. Mm -hmm. um, referred staff that calls to provide in-kind support for the science camp in lieu of funding. Um, thank you letter from the Kettle Valley Co-op sponsored a hundred dollars their workshop cancer card was participating in the event the um, FCM regarding the lift station heat exchange system uh, the uh, advising of the remittance of the final payment the green municipal fund the Canada Day parade invitation to businesses to participate uh, deadline is June 20th which is passed uh, I would hope that uh, we have some councillor involvement. We're not getting involved in the uh, parade this year. Um, we've let it go too long. <laughs> I know. I can see the nod there. If we really, you know, if we really want to look at it in the future, we could design a float and have something that would not only go in our parades, but we could take to other towns. And we could look at that in future. But at this point in time. If you're going to be in the parade, we're going to either be uh, walking or riding on somebody else's uh, load. <laughs> Canada Day Committee, uh, Council participation in the opening ceremonies. Uh, I will be attending. Any other councillors planning to be there, please uh, turn up. We can always use you. Make sure I recognize you at the podium. Uh, the benches, uh, the... Uh, Daryl and uh, Thompson regarding the Riverside Park, the old swimming hole, quite an interesting offer and refer to staff to write a report and bring to council for consideration. So this would be putting in benches at the uh, old swimming hole on uh, Riverside Park. Excuse me, Your Worship. Can we just go back to the Canada Bay? They're asking for two council members to assist with cutting the cake at 1240. Did you... Did you ask for anybody or confirm? I don't see before two. In their letter. Oh, in their letter, right. Uh, do we have two people who will be attending other than myself? Council of Authority. There's your cake cutters. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> 1230. 1230. Oh, this is going to have the cake. <laughs> 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 no, gyro. Yeah. No, I'll be there. <laughs> And the uh, financial statement called SOFI, which we've all heard about, which is uh, something that Cecile needs to do on an annual basis. 
and uh, the motion here that's included in our work is council to receive the CFO's report, further approves the statements and schedules of the uh, financial information of the City of Grand Forks as to December 31st, 2011. Do you need a separate motion on that? Can we go through? And the uh, uh, Phoenix Mountain Alpine Ski Society uh, requesting to run the beer garden at Donaldson Park um, for uh, July 1st, naming the city the usual insurance policy. Uh, they would have serving it right and they would have drivers for and warning posters about drinking and driving. Anyone have any difficulty with that? Do we need a separate motion sure. on that? Yeah. They did say they were going to have drivers? Uh, I've spoken to them and they are going to have drivers. Yeah. In the past, we've had separate motions for the places. Yes, we have. Yeah. So we'll make that a separate yeah, motion. Sure. Sure. We're shagging. Councillor Kendall, all those in favor. Excuse me, Your Worship. Um, Diane was just telling me we need a motion, a separate motion for 12H as well, because we have to send it in separately. That's so the Sophie. That's the Sophie. So can we have a motion on the so Sophie 12H? Councillor Smith, Councillor Doherty, all those in favor? Carry. Now, can we pass the Phoenix Beer Garden? Canada Day minutes <coughs> and the June 11th task list. The motion on the table is to accept the decisions as we've made them. All those in favor? Opposed? Carried. Down to questions from the public. Oh. I used to have an apple. Yes, there was a sticker, maybe. You can get your one as well. For a couple of books. Yeah. Got a couple of homes that came with this. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, wow. Yeah. Okay, the first bylaw is uh, to establish the interest payable for late comer agreements in, court, in accordance with section 939 of the Local Government Act. This is the uh, charge that we charge people for hooking up after the service has been established. Correct. And uh, we're giving this first, second, and third reading tonight, so can I have first reading on bylaw 1934? First Councilor reading. Doherty, Councillor Smith, all those in favor? And second reading, Councillor Smith, Councillor Kendall, all those in favor. And third reading, Councillor Kendall, Councillor Gershagan, all those in favor. Okay, and the next uh, bylaw is bylaw 1938, water regulations and rates. This is to establish our water regulation and rates, bylaw 1501, Councillor to consider first, second, and third reading. And I have a first reading on this. Councillor O'Doherty, Councillor Wachagan, all those in favor? Opposed? Second reading, Councillor Byers, Councillor Kendall, all those in favor? Third reading, Councillor Kendall, Councillor Smith, all those in favor? And the next bylaw is to establish our sewer regulation and rates. 
bylaw number 1939. And again, we are doing a first, second, and third reading independently. Council majority, Councillor Wires. All those in favor. Second reading. Councillor Smith. Councillor. Councillor. Councillor Kendall. All those in favor. And third reading, bylaw mm -hmm. number 1939. Councillor Wires and Councillor Smith. All those in favor. Thank you for your patience. And we have no late items, and we're down to questions from the public and media. And so I welcome any comments from the gallery. Come on, Les. So minor thing, talking about Chiro Park earlier on, uh, oh, yeah, here's a debacle, but you would be involved. You've been talking about uh, who owns what there. I'd be very, very circumspect in how you talk to the museum about that. Why is that? Uh, well, who owns the artifacts? I don't think that was ever really decided. I think it was loosely decided that, well, the legal definition of ownership goes with paperwork, and after 1982, all the artifacts donated after that probably belong to the Museum Society, but before 1982, possibly they belong to the city, but we were never, it was never actually decided, I don't think. Um, and as far as that goes, the property was bought by the gyros after fundraising and donated to the city along with the museum, so technically I guess the city owns the property. But the funding for the actual structure was raised by the museum and there's what equity went into yeah. them, so I'm not sure how you define ownership there. But I just thought, because you weren't here, I'm sure the man next sitting next to you is going <laughs> down the other side of the whole thing, but it was a bit touchy. So. Be politic in your discussion. I don't have any issue with the artifacts. I yeah, no, it just seems it just that was it. Okay, well, Thank we're you. we're going to try and sort that out. So hopefully, we'll see that fairly quickly here that we can determine what our options are because certainly that situation is not getting better. The artifacts are deteriorating. Yeah, you heard them go off. They don't last as long as the rest of them, but I think we've got the whole thing. Anyways, that was it. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you, Roy. Anything this evening? No.